Hello, this is Monday of Student 22, and today I'm talking about a molecule known as aripiprazole or a BDFI, which is an antipsychotic used primarily in the treatment of schizophrenia and also in the treatment of bipolar disorder. This drug was also approved by the FDA to treat irritability in autism. Abilify is so special because it is a partial agonist of dopaminergic receptors. Until now, except Abilify, all neuroleptics, both typical and atypical, first and second generations, were full antagonists. To make it very simple, a full agonist of dopaminergic receptors would by definition be dopamine. It means that dopamine completely activates dopaminergic receptors. On the contrary, a full antagonist like Haldol, Thorazine, Resperdol, Zipraxa, Clozarel is going to completely block the dopaminergic receptor. Then, a partial agonist is, if we could say it like that, to make it simple once again, between the two. It acts like a full agonist. It's going to bind to the receptor, but it's going to only activate it mildly. Which means it's going to partially, by definition, activate the dopaminergic receptor. We're going to see which effects, which beneficial effects this can have for especially the negative symptoms of schizophrenia and how it could revolutionize the treatment of schizophrenia. On the one hand, for the positive symptoms of schizophrenia, Abilify is going to lower the rate of dopamine when there is too much dopamine. It's going to act similarly to a full antagonist to make it simple. On the other hand, for negative symptoms, Abilify, even though it is not the perfect drug, could revolutionize the ideas for researchers to develop new drugs that could treat negative symptoms better, which is not the case whatsoever so far with antipsychotics. We saw in my last video how typical antipsychotics <clears throat> worsened the negative symptoms by lowering, low, lowering the rate of dopamine even more in the mesocortical bundle and we also saw how <clears throat> atypical antipsychotics by binding to the 5-HT2A receptors meaning the serotoninergic receptors in the mesocortical bundle could at least not worsen the negative symptoms. Now we're going to see how Abilify can improve the negative symptoms. Since it's a partial agonist, it's going to activate partially the dopaminergic receptors and in the mesocortical bundle, it's going to increase the rate of dopamine, meaning it's going to improve the rate of dopamine and improve 
the negative symptoms. Let's sum it up. Okay, so as I said, it, it's not the perfect drug. So it doesn't it exactly act as in the theory. But in the theory, our partial agonist, as we saw, is going to decrease the rate of dopamine when there's too much in schizophrenia in the mesolimbic bundle. And it's going to increase the rate of dopamine when there's not enough in the mesocortical bundle in the case of schizophrenia, meaning it's going to treat both negative and positive symptoms. And that's what we wanted. We said we want a drug that acts by, in the meantime, lowering the rate of dopamine in a certain area of the brain, and at the meantime, increasing the rate of dopamine in the in another area of the brain and that's where we're getting at with aripiprazole and that's what's gonna revolutionize the use of medical drugs in the treatment of schizophrenia. Finally, I won't develop the subject more than that because it would be too complicated and this is a video to start to understand the very, very, very basic in a very simple way. But if you are an antipsychotic, do not think that aripiprazole is a perfect drug. My point is it could revolutionize the treatment of schizophrenia by improving the negative symptoms. That's it. It's a prototype. I would say it's a prototype. It could be used as a prototype. If you're using Risperdal, Haldol, I don't think you may be using Haldol, but if you do, anyway, you may be using Haldol. I'm saying that because it's a typical antipsychotics and we usually do not use typical antipsychotics not, not so much anymore because of the high possibility of getting strong reactions of uh, side effects such as um, extrapyramidal symptoms. But anyway, do not think if you're using these types of antipsychotics that aripiprazole is perfect for you. Okay, because aripiprazole is going to be very less sedative, so it may create a lot of anxiety. It may create anxiety and also because it's less sedative, if you have usual anxiety, it's going to make you have anxiety because you won't be sedated anymore. So it can create anxiety and plus you'll have your normal anxiety because it won't be treated anymore. Okay, and we don't want to use benzodiazepines too much because it's very addictive. And the other treatments of uh, anxiety disorders like uh, accessories are not very effective okay and we don't want you to change except actually you have to talk to your psychiatrist about that because if you're suffering from the type of schizophrenia where the negative symptoms are very 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 present you may want to use Abilify to improve them if you're suffering from schizophrenia where positive symptoms are the most disturbing troubles you have, you may want to stay on a full antagonist because it's gonna um, antagonize your symptoms more and it's gonna act better on your positive symptoms. So I would say that our piperazole is not, definitely not the perfect drug, but it is an idea of how we could get better. So, I also want you to know that it sedates, sedates more, less, very less. Uh, it sedates less, which is quite a good thing for people who are very, very sedated. And also it gives less appetite. Um, okay. 
but once again if you have negative positive symptoms which is the most case of schizophrenia in most cases of schizophrenia if you have disturbing positive symptoms you may want to stay on your full antagonists actually if your treatment is working well you shouldn't change your treatment because you never know how you're going to react to another treatment change, think of changing your treatment when you when you're treatment resistant or when your drug the drug you're taking is not um, effective anymore and about treatment refractory schizophrenia TRS we are going to see in my next video how clozoril also known as clozapine which is the molecule name works by binding D4 receptors and how it can treat treatments with factory schizophrenia but also also how it can cause blood troubles I won't give it up that because it can be complicated but like agranulocytosis and cause death in some cases so <laughs> you see there's always advantages and disadvantages so you may want to talk that would be my final word to your psychiatrist about your treatment thank you for watching